Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope your vertical is going great, you are learning and improving. So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, one of the very interesting topic uh, which uh, most of the beginners are saying, you know, uh, their paintings are looking very dull and uh, there is no freshness in the painting, it looks very muddy. So this paint, this tutorial is all about that. So before starting this, I would ask you to please subscribe to this channel so you will be get a notification whenever I upload a new video. So that's the best way to see my latest video. So please go ahead and subscribe my channel. I really want you to fast track your vertical learning. So after doing my research, I found that the biggest struggle any vertical beginner has is their fear and how their fear is holding you off. So. To address this common problem, I have created a quick watercolor lesson which will help you to overcome your watercolor fear. So go to my watercolor class website and uh, request for this lesson. And yes, this is going to be absolutely free. So go ahead and get this. So my first recommendation for you to just go and uh, look at your painting and just understand have you completed your painting in a first layer itself? <laughs> yes, I'm right. Because a lot of people, they finish their painting in a first layer. Now you'll ask me, what is layer? <laughs> so very first thing you need to understand about watercolor is how it works, right? So when you start making watercolor art in your paper, in the process of making watercolor, you know, uh, till the time your paintings uh, are still wet, and there is a good amount of water in your paper it looks very charm and you'll feel like an oh wow I, <laughs> i've done great my peer, my colors are very charming very contrast uh, and i'm really happy with that but when it get dry you'll be surprised to see the result so <laughs> so that's the characteristic of the watercolor uh, especially in a first layer when your watercolor get dry it looks very dull it doesn't have a, a much you know life in it uh, so that's the reason the watercolor has a layering system, right? There is a there's a two three system which generally the watercolor has. One is layering system which I'll talk about. The second one is uh, uh, wet on wet you can work on. So uh, there are several other techniques which I'll talk about in my later videos. But let's first come back to your real problem, <laughs> right? So yes, so you need to understand the layer system. So Let's assume that you have completed your layer, your very first layer, and don't be disheartened seeing your watercolor is very dull, right? That's the, that's the behavior. But you need to follow the second layer and the third layer. So generally, watercolor can be complete in, most of the time, second layer, you can complete your painting, and third layer where you can just give and define a little more value to it. So that's how, uh, you know, you, you can just work. And another aspect you need to see is uh, the transparency. It has to be great transparency in your watercolor, you know, when you're painting, even if you are doing the second layer. So the second and third layer is basically to get the contrast and the transparency and all of those uh, interesting, uh, you know, uh, elements in your watercolor. So you just need to give a lot and a lot more focus on transparency aspect of it. And doing this, uh, you will see like you know, your paintings are no more dull. So my second recommendation is uh, to just check your color mixing pattern behavior. Because every individual has a, has a unique way to you know, pick the color from the palette and uh, you know the color mixing uh, the way they want things like that you know so just see that so one thing i just wanted to point out here is there are certain color family uh, you know when you mix them each other there are certain the reaction when you'll see you know mixing these two color you'll see like you know, some of those color looks very dull in your plate itself right so be very cautious about it because uh, if you are doing it there and especially if you have just started doing watercolor, it will be very hard for you. <laughs> it will be really hard for you to manage that. Professionals like, uh, you know, professional artists, uh, they are well versed to maintain all of that. Even 
even if they mix these color together and looks dull but they know how to maintain that and how to you know bring that harmony into the into, into the painting but that's a different level i'm talking about but at this moment since you have started watercolor and uh, you know even if you are in an intermediate level but you just need to see your behavior your pattern learn from them when you are mixing these colors together and you are applying those color into your paper just see like a, what is the kind of a reaction you are getting what is the kind of the the you know the the reflection of that color it gives you right if you see even if your color is wet it has some charm right but if those colors are already dirty right <laughs> i wouldn't say dirty apologize <laughs> but yeah <laughs> uh nothing bad about watercolor <laughs> nothing bad <laughs> it's all about it's all about learning that's all guys uh so yeah so coming to the point uh, even like uh, when you are putting your 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 color which looks dirty in the plate and you have put it in in a paper when it get dry it looks even more dirtier <laughs> apologize <laughs> Uh, yeah, so just just learn from them. That, that it's uh, I think it's it's not just about uh, you're doing something and uh, your an end result it gives you on a muddy sort of uh, uh, the flavor and the end result, but it's just like a it's kind of a, the learning you 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 will see uh, you know in every painting, right? But be very cautious. You can do a lot of experiment around you know. Uh, you can just check my previous video also. I've just made one video on how to do the color mixing So you'll get some inspiration from there. And yes uh, This is how uh, you can you can just avoid using that because it's all about the learning It's all about the practice. That's all. I mean, that's a really important uh, You know thing to learn is that the until and unless you will not practice you will not learn how to tackle these the muddiness and your colors are not fresh and all that it will only happen when you do certain practice the certain kind of experiment uh, around that right along with that i would also say uh, be very very cautious about uh, the usage of uh, the non complementary color so when i say non complementary color you you need to do a little bit of research on what is the color combination what is the complementary color each other things like that and so that will give you an, a, a lot more insight about it but uh, non complementary like you know, just uh, for this example i'm just saying like uh, let's say so you have uh, your first layer is uh, having blue right and uh, when you do the second layer or probably when you know first layer you apply the different color in it so that is not a complementary if those are not a complementary and it's not you know there is no harmony between these two color then it's going to look very bad it's really going to look very dull and uh, no life no signing in your painting <laughs> as simple as that so just uh, just try to spend some time to understand what is the complementary color uh, you know you can use it and again coming back to this practice so your practice makes you perfect <laughs> so you will understand even if you don't want to go and learn those theory and all that so you just need to just go and practice and get some inspiration absolutely don't forget to get inspiration because inspiration is the key right so every individual who wants to grow and wanted to reach somewhere and some place at the, some point of time they have they, they need to have some you know some some inspiration some uh, some someone to follow <laughs> right so just do that just look just see a uh, lot of artwork just google it uh, visit gallery and all that just see uh, what is the kind of inspiration you are getting right so do that and you'll see like kind of gradually your paintings are you're coming out from those era where you see your paintings are looking so dirty and you're saying oh my god i'm just wasting my time i'm wasting my color and paper by the way a lot of people are saying that <laughs> depth and contrast the use of proper depth in your painting so what happened is sometimes like you, know, you made a very very good painting it is i mean you did a good job 
I mean, you know, the, you have you have followed the proper the color combination and everything. So you just followed everything, but you'll see some. Sometimes you see like uh, your painting is still uh, very flat and doesn't have an much uh, contrast in it. There's no proper uh, uh, what is it called life. There's no life in it. I mean, the moment your audience comes here, they say, okay, "Oh, yeah, this looks." very flat. I mean, in their mind it going that there should be some more interest. So the interest, the interest comes from those contrasts and depth, how the depth work. So that is something you need to bring in. And the moment you're going to win this, and this happens, you know, uh, this, this particular area to working on the understanding the depth and how to use that depth and the light, contrast, values, all things when you want to bring into your painting, you need to do a little bit of sketch, you know, every day. Just do that. Just do some, a lot of sketch, very fast sketch, and you're done. You see like, you know, you'll have an amazing time with watercolor. Oh, I tell you, I just got tired saying people, please sketch. <laughs> please sketch. And I'm, again, I'm saying, Guys, please sketch. Um, this is so powerful. Your sketch is so powerful. It gives you an everything, you know. If you want to learn watercolor, you got to go and do a lot of sketch, right? So thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoy, you got some information from this. Uh, again, I want to say thank you so much uh, to a lot of uh, my, my subscriber who joined my class. And I really want you to see you in my class. Uh, you can just visit my uh, watercolor, watercolor uh, online watercolor class and uh, you can enroll. You'll have a fantastic time learning with me and have a great time, uh, you know, with, 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 with my class. So thank you so much, everyone. I'll be coming with a new video very soon. Till then, enjoy and don't forget to paint today.